Let's come back uh, to the country and we talk about uh, something different, and that is uh, rugby, to be specific. We're talking about the Lionesses and their quest to go and represent uh, Africa and also represent uh, Kenya. They want to qualify and get a slot to go all the way to the Olympics. Will they get uh, that a slot? You really cannot tell. But remember, South Africa are uh, heavyweights. They will also be taking part in this uh, tie, and also for them, they're saying they want to get uh, that uh, slot. Uh, thinking about this uh, Lionesses side, it has been a week uh, full of talk and that uh, talk is all about money. Financial issues always a reality when we talk about uh, sports here in the country. So for the Kenya Rugby Union, they say that uh, they had a budget for around 100, uh, 129 uh, million, which they took uh, to the sports uh, uh, to the sports docket here in the country. And they said they were expecting, it was approved yes. in April, so they have been waiting for that money to be wired in their account. For this... Uh, for this side at this particular time, for the uh, ladies, I know their quest is very, very simple. They want to go there and at least uh, get a victory. But you think about them, the union is saying they don't have money. They requested that they wanted to get at least 32 million, 32 million to be yes. able to facilitate them in their quest. But it's all about the same talk. Money, 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 okay? Yeah. Yes, so they are expected to leave the country on Tuesday. And uh, the first uh, match uh, will be against uh, Ghana. So we'll have to wait. But first, let's take a look at uh, you know the team that was unveiled and what you should expect from them with precisely a week before the africa women's sevens rugby kickoff the wave of insufficient funds is sweeping the national women's team camp leaving behind a punch of demoralized squad you play as well as you prepare it doesn't matter how well you play at the, the end of the day but if you prepare well you have a better chance so for us it's just to ask can we if we can get that slight boost for the Lionesses so that they can be able to go out there with the, with the motivation. Even with the unforgiving and recurring money issues with national teams, Lionesses clearly understand their title is at stake if they miss out the Tunisia outing. The training is on as they wait for aid. Tumeji Kakamua, Vilivio, na tunajua hakuna kitu raisi, hakuna kitu kuja uh, Pull against Senegal, Botswana and Ghana. Lionesses have fought to sail through the finals as South Africa seems to be the only team supposedly standing on their way to glory. They have vowed to fight to the end. South Africa. We lost in 15s, which we are not going to give them another chance. They cannot take everything. We are in for it and we are going this one to go do or die. We must fight and we must qualify. The Lionesses will leave the country on Tuesday next week for the 12th October clash. The Africa champions training behind me have been doing so for months now. And as they head to Tunisia next week, their hope is to retain their title. Jeff Mogire, KTN News. Now, let's talk about uh, boxing, and we know Fatuma Zarika has been an instrumental lady in the world of boxing, a champion, world WBC uh, champion of the world, and she's shown the world that Kenya has some boxing talent. If she does not have a match by the end of this year, she might lose her super bantamweight uh, title. So we know she is not at the right place at this particular time because there has been issues to do with uh, money. We know the betting firms that have left the country, and this will affect our sportsmen and also women. For Fatuma Zarika, will she be able to get a match and at least go out there and defend that title? Question marks and more question marks. Where will that money come from? Yeah, money talk, money talk is always a big, big issue in uh, sports here in the country, but that is a reality. We will say sportsmen and women in Kenya have been neglected, literally, and that will begin with the stories to do with the facilities, with the stories to do with their financing, but we will wait and see what exactly will transpire. Let's talk about uh, something different, and that is Harambe's talents. Very, very important match they played against Ghana, and they were able to at least not concede away. So for them, they are trying 
trying as much as possible to see if they will be able to get an important victory in the return fixture. But the side believes that they will have what it takes to dance against the Ghanaians here in the country when that match comes to the centre stage on Tuesday. And maybe they will have what it takes to be able to bag the three important maximum points.